Yes, now we are united. Now we, uh, we will pray our Father. Our Father. So let's now continue in the learning of this Our Father. Now we are already in the beautiful experience of Our Father. In the learning of Catechism of Catholic Church, we have been reflecting on Our Father. The prayer, the Lord's Prayer. And we were all these days very deeply, experientially thinking our Father who art in heaven. We finished that part. Today we are planning to start the seven petitions. So before that I want to little bit more to share about all what we have learned these last days. One important point which was shared by many people that is out of all what we heard one important point I want to recollect is 2778 that is Parisia Parisia this power of the spirit who introduces as to the Lord's prayer is expressed in the liturgies of East and the West by the beautiful characteristically Christian expression Pharisia. There are five points in this Pharisia. Straightforward simplicity, filial trust, joyous assurance, humble boldness, boldness but humble boldness and the last is a very important point certainty of being loved that there is someone to love me this is the key of all our God experience you are not alone Jesus himself said in John chapter John chapter 14 maybe 18 19 he I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you orphans. Let me see that. That's very important. Today, the people all over the world has always has this difficulty. Oh, nobody loves me. I am not wanted. I am alone. I have nobody. But we don't recognize we have a father. Who, who love us as we are, as we are. I will not leave you orphans. John chapter 14, 18. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In, in a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me because I live, you will live. Because I live and you will live. Because I live. I live in you. That is the very reason of my life. Why am I alive? Because the source of my life, God himself lives in me. How he lives in me? First of all, he is love. He loves me as I am. I may have many weaknesses, I may have many failures, I may be good for nothing for many people, but I have such a confidence in spite of all my utter failures, my God, my Father loves me. That's important. That brings Pharisee a boldness, a humble boldness, a confidence. I have confidence in confidence. So eventually this is the taking home of this whole teaching what we have read. These five points. Paresia, straightforward simplicity, filial trust. I said many times about the trust. Joyous assurance. 
Christian life is a joy. It is not always crying. It is not like in a life in the sitting in the cemetery. We are not going for a funeral. We are going for the joy, a celebration, celebration, celebration of joy. That's why Holy Fathers, Pope Francis has all the letters, the joy of the gospel, the joy of love. Amoris Laetitia. Uh, then what is the Gaudete Exultate? Gaudete Exultate. Gaudete Exultate means Gaudete Exultate. Yeah. Anandi Chahadki. Gaudete Exultate. Rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be glad. Gaudete Exultate. Exalt. Exalt. We have devotion to Mary. What is Mary? She always sing, My soul exalt, magnificat. So, one emotion we should cultivate is a joy. Joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. He gives me living water and I thirst no more. The joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> I don't want to sing that. That's a beautiful song. Okay. So, this Parisia, 2778. Parisia. In that five points. So, now, yesterday, we have concluded with the brief, that six points. In all these six points, summary of that is also actually this Parisia. Because from these brief points of the brief, beginning with simple and faithful trust, humble and joyous assurance are the, sorry, are the proper dispositions for one who prays the Our Father prayer. And another point which many have shared, what touched them was that his dwelling place, he, he dwells in us, that heaven is not a place, it is a state of our life and in fact he dwells, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit dwells in every heart. Heaven is in my heart. We were singing that. And in that, we already heard Jesus taught before the Our Father prayer. He said, when you pray, go to your inner room. So Jesus himself taught us. Before he taught the Our Father prayer, first he taught Matthew 6.6, 6, when you pray, go to your inner room. Close the door. Pray to your father. There you go. There you go. There you go. Where is your father now? Your father is right inside your heart, in your soul. Your soul is a tabernacle. Your soul can contain this God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. He is enthroned there. Adore Him. Worship Him. Love Him. Praise Him right within. And that's what Jesus taught. This is very important teaching of Jesus. When you pray, go to your inner room. Close the door means close all other thinking. And pray to your father in secret. And your father who sees in secret. So very important is the word secret. Somebody said she spent so many hours in that word secret. That God lives in the secret corner of my heart. In secret means in intimacy. In intimacy. Because he knows all my secret. He knows my past. He knows my presence. 
he knows my future 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 to all eternity he knows that now he knows what is my eternity he already has a blueprint about it he lives in me he want to step by step reveal that to me he knows my weaknesses he knows my failures knowingly he loves me my dear friends so this i want to add to what we concluded yesterday as from the feedbacks of many people okay so that's it now we begin the second or the actual part of the prayer beginning with the seven petitions so all what we heard so far was only the preface of the prayer our father who art in heaven we we understood it you can make a revision of that tomorrow <laughs> it's worth it is worth it is worth now coming to the point before we go into the seven petitions we have an introductory part about what means these seven petitions so the seven petitions are hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done thy 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 the first three petitions then the last five, four petitions are as 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 <laughs> give us today our daily bread forgive us lead us not temptation deliver us so it's very interesting first three die 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 god send it last four us 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 man send it now we are beginning with this paragraph 2803 after we have placed ourselves in the presence of god our father now comes three important facts adore and to love and to bless him so the disposition in the prayer is these three things after we have placed ourselves in the presence of god our father to adore him first and to love him and to bless him so that's why already we heard in the earlier uh, paragraph that that uh, our father prayer is not a formula to be repeated mechanically and uh, that is what actually i am sorry to say many people are doing this is what a a revolutionary change is needed my dear friends i say it a revolutionary change is needed we have such a big treasure given to us but without really understanding that treasure we are we are handling it without really understanding that treasure therefore a spiritual revolution this is what i have been told many years back the lord spoke to me what we need is a spiritual revolution where to begin first of all begin from this simple way how to pray our our father prayer let us have a spiritual revolution let us at least all of us couple of people start praying this with its really meaning understanding and in a in a in a noble way every marathon begins from the first step so this spiritual revolution has to begin by saying our father prayer in a meaningful way and then you will understand your own life become so joyous full of joy full of confidence no matter 
we are in the midst of so much criticism persecution obstruction objection let people do that no problem we will have complete joy because our focus should be we have a god who love us his love that's the next point so here comes these three things first is adoration then so we are in the presence of god for what first to adore him second to love him third to bless him that is to praise him so now here why do we adore him why do we love him why do we bless him so all that thing is what we are learning <laughs> in paragraph by paragraph but the central point in this is love him why do we love him because he loved us first <laughs> this is a love story this is a very romantic love story because in a love story it's important who loved first so here taking from first john chapter 1 john chapter 1 john second so on john chapter 4 10 and 4 19 the letter of john that is not gospel the epistle of saint john who wrote beautifully in this is love one john chapter 4 10 in this is love not that we have loved god but that he loved us and sent his son as an expiation for our sins beloved if god so loved us okay now the verse 19 we love because he first loved us period that's the masterpiece 1 john chapter 4 19 we love because he first loved us so this is a very important point our love towards god is a response of his love so in faith and in understanding of the teaching teaching from jesus himself we have this clear idea i have someone to love me i have somebody who is loving me this is in our own family matter if you have somebody in our family or a moment in our family everybody is loving there is full of joy but the moment there is a hatred everything disappeared everything disappeared our relation is dead relation is dead why relation is dead relation is there but it is dead <laughs> why there is no love so love is a very important living 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 life giving emotion and that is the essence of god experience the moment you think god oh no 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 he is a very serious person he is like a punishing god then you lost everything you are not understanding the truth of the father our god is a father our god is a father who knows only to love and when he loves us that love fill us and then we love him so that is what is the three important point when we come in the presence of god adore him love him and bless him and i am telling in a very practical way out of these three look at these three fingers 
what is the highest finger here? The middle finger or this one that is love. Love. God is love. He loved us even as we are sinners. He loved us even as we are enemies. Now understanding this is a prudence. It is a prudence. But there is some Pharisee nature people will say, Oh no, 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 don't say like that. Then everybody can do what they want. That is completely ignorance. We are not understanding God. Thank you. He loved us before the foundation of the world. Thank you. So, all these are in our heart. But yet, sometimes we are so desperate. I feel sometimes very desperate. I feel when others criticize me, I feel very painful in spite of we are doing so much, then why? But then immediately I recollect, no matter. I don't care what others say. I care what my God says. My God loves me. And then <laughs> I got life. I feel full life. I feel fullness. So that is how this up and down happens. Maybe our partner, our children, our parents do not love us. We feel upset. But then in the midst of this situation, you must think, I have a God who loves me. Whose love is greater? There you go. There you go. There you go. Then you grow. So very important. In these three, in these petitions, before we make all petitions, we don't go in a mechanical way. Pause for a moment. These three emotions, adoration, loving and blessing. Out of this, very important is love. God loved us first. Therefore, we are able to love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, this first sentence. You know, somebody told me, Thomas Paul, this book was with me for many years. I take it, then I just read a little bit. I don't understand anything. I keep it again. But now it is really giving me such a joy. Thank you, Thomas Paul. This is one feedback. So, therefore, thank God we must take time to learn this so that we will have our whole life a very pleasant, joyful confidence in our Father and our prayer will be different. We will begin a spiritual revolution. That's the word. A spiritual revolution which already began 2000 years back but still we have not yet understood the flame in, in the proper way. We are still in the Old Testament time. That is how many people are living. We are not yet understanding the daddy, the father and his love. Sorry, I am a little serious about it because we have, we have to speak certain things a little seriously. After we have placed ourselves in the presence of God, our Father, three things, to adore, to love and to bless. The spirit of adoption, the spirit of adoption, that's another great thing. The spirit of adoption stirs up in our hearts seven petitions, seven blessings. Spirit of adoption, what do you mean by spirit of adoption? That is the spirit of the Son. Hello, my dear brother, Paul has come. Paul he is my brother in Bangalore. He is the head of the department in Christ College. Good. Good professor. God's spirit, the spirit of his son is given to our spirit. Spirit and spirit. God's spirit in our spirit made us such a union. That's what Romans chapter 8, 16 
Romans chapter 8, 16. This is phenomenal. This is the this is the song which was which we were singing that the Spirit of God cry out in our heart Abba Father. So Romans 8.16 says Romans 8.16 the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The Spirit with our spirit. The Spirit of God with our spirit. Now we, we know where is God. God is in our heart. But where is this where exactly? What is the point? What is the contact point? The contact point is our spirit. We have a human spirit. We have a human spirit, human body, human mind. So in this body and mind is dynamic only because of the spirit or soul. There are different versions, either you say soul or spirit, it is same. We have a soul, that is our spirit, but mind and body. Mind say, move your hand, then the body work. But then from where the power comes? <laughs> the power comes from our spirit, from our soul. The moment our soul separate from body, then we collapse. So what is the prime moving, prime moving element in the person is the spirit. And the spirit receive power from God. Spirit receive power from God. If you watch my personal prayer leaflet, you will find a picture with circles and triangle where you will find a, a external triangle that is trinity, trinity outside from where you get power to the inner trinity. In fact, the both is same. It's only a representation. So we draw power. And if in our spirit, if there is power, in our soul there is power, then it goes into our mind and through voice it goes and my body it goes. Now you see, I am just not, uh, not, uh, not uh, uh, alighting it. I am here now three hours, you know, early in the morning hours, morning one o'clock, two, one to two, one session, two to three, another session, three to four, another session, three hours. And these three hours, I am giving power from my soul. That is God's power. But why? Before that, at least one hour, I am feeling, I am feeling, I am feeling. That's it. I am telling this to understand this dynamic. So, God's spirit, the Father's spirit, the Son's spirit, the Holy Spirit is uniting with our spirit like a coupled way. And that is how we become dynamic. Dynamic love, dynamic emotions, dynamic prayer. Everything happens only with a dynamic spirit which is in us. So this is, this happens this is exactly what St. Paul writes in Romans 8, 14, 15, 16. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what is written here. That... The spirit of adoption stirs up in our hearts seven petitions, seven blessings. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm going very fast. Or <laughs> the first three more theological draw us toward the glory of the Father. 
So out of these seven petitions, the first three petitions, first three petitions, <coughs> more theological, draw us towards the glory of the Father. The last four as were towards Him, commend our righteousness to His grace. Deep calls the deep. Now this is a big school of thinking, big school of prayer. Deep calls to deep. So let's understand what it means. The first three, that is out of the seven petitions, I have already said the three, thy, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy will. This is the first three. That is God send it. That is initiation from God. It comes from God. Initiating from God. And that. And then the last four are a response to that. As, 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 as. Now coming to understand. This is called deep calls the deep. Deep calls the deep is referring to Psalm 42. In Psalm 42, 7. In Psalm 42, 7 is this great school of prayer called, I say school of prayer. There are so many books with this theme, deep calls the deep. It's a great teaching in the mystery of prayer in Psalm 42. Psalm 42 itself is to be understood little more. Psalm 42 is the psalm which every Christian from the beginning of Christianity, from the beginning of Christianity, because Saint Augustine has written the commentary on the Psalms. So he wrote in that from the beginning of the Christianity. So he wrote in the 4th century or beginning of the 5th century. He wrote. So even at that time, this was the Psalm which was sung while the baptism begins. So we can see at the beginning of the baptism, Normally, this is the psalm the liturgical celebration sings. And so, that begins with, As the deer longs for streams of water, so my soul longs for you, O God. As the deer longs for streams of water, so my soul longs for you, Lord. So this is a big thing. In Hindi, it is very beautiful. Like a deer, like a deer. So deer is longs for the water. That's a lot of teaching about it. We only go into the main point. So it's about the Holy Spirit. And now the word seven says, seven says, very beautiful. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore, I will remember you. Oh, what happened? No, sorry. I have gone wrong. 42. Like the deer. Sometimes these numbers don't match. Yeah, here it is eight. Here deep calls to deep in the roar of your torrents. All your verbs and breakers sweep over me. So deep calls the deep in the roar of your torrents. Roar of your torrents. Torrent is like a waterfall. Now think about Niagara waterfall. Niagara waterfall. The water falls from the very high. Can anything block this? That is how the God's blessing comes. 
God's blessing comes like a waterfall, like a torrent, and it goes deep into our soul. That is the first deep. So the deep calls the deep. There are two deep. The first deep is God's initiation. So in this Our Father prayer, the first three petitions, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. These three petitions are in fact three blessings initiating from God. That is the first deep, like a torrent, like a torrent, like a torrent, it falls deep into our soul. And we are filled. And that gives such a feeling, a deep longing for God. That is the second deep. You must understand like this. The first deep is the initiation from God. Die, die, die. The three petitions. Thy, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Initiation from God. This comes deep inside us. <sighs> My God, oh, how you love me. I never understood this. Oh, now I know how much you love me. A deep longing for God. The deep calls the deep. There is a lot to learn about this, but <laughs> maybe some other time. So, uh, I remember I was invited to give a, a retreat on prayer on contemplatory prayer to the contemplatory congregation of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa's sisters have got two. First is they are active, another is they have a contemplative congregation. So in Rome they have a big center for the formation as well as... So there I gave nine days <laughs> retreat and the theme was Deep calls the deep. Nine days I spoke to the contemplative sisters and in that the main subject was our father prayer. And those Mother Teresa sisters who are already intoxicated with prayer, they really were in great Great experience. So these are very important things we have to really learn. We have to spend time. We have to put up all our temporal things and to spend time in recognizing what means deep calls the deep. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Time is over. What? It's already three, four. So, so it's a good point to stop. So let us keep here now. We will, now we know that tomorrow, tomorrow we have holiday. <laughs> holiday in the sense, it's a time for you to reflect all what last week's and also to make a, I recommend you to make a one hour, our father prayer. With these things what you heard, you pray taking one hour, slowly adoring, loving, you pray. So let us now conclude this session with this prayer, our father who art in heaven. Adoring, loving, blessing. First of all, love him because he loved us. 
we have someone to love me no matter the whole world may reject me but i feel love of my dad that's enough for me he loves me the whole world may hate me but he loves me oh lord abba i am not so holy i am still having many weaknesses very sinfulness but he loved me he loved me even when i was a sinner he sent his son jesus to save me from my sins he loved me he says i will not abandon you i will not leave you orphan i love you so la 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 so with that aspiration of love oh he first loved me father i adore you i bless you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done not my will thy will thy kingdom thy will give us today our daily bread forgive us as we forgive others lead us not to temptation deliver us lord from all evil For yours is the kingdom, power, and glory. Amen. 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 Ah. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. It's an experience. It's a beautiful experience. So I wish you a good weekend. But we continue in our Corona prayer, the United Cry prayer. Tomorrow we will not have any of these, but you can have all of these. You can take any one of the United Cry prayer and pray with that, so that you don't miss that time. Spend time. I will be also spending full time my time in prayer and. Uh, and preparation so uh, we are united i will be praying for you don't go into many other worldly things <laughs> hallelujah so okay so now i stop here god bless you 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 thank you thank you thank you